Hello and welcome. Right, we're at the shop. We have got to buy, yeah, we made our choice yesterday in the last session, so let's actually do that. Let's actually buy that back, which it is in trailers. It is on this one. Yeah, the Tanker Junior is definitely in normal trailers. Yeah, this is going to cost us an awful lot, really. It is true. But it is what it is. Uh, I like the rounded ones. Fill types all, street tyres. Off-road tyres, I like that. So yeah, even if that doesn't mean I'd, I'd certainly be realistic. Fill level indicator, main colour. Let's change that. What are we going to go for? Yeah, I think silver. A bit of an everythinger. Yeah, I like that. That is nice. Design colour. No, that, I'm happy with that. 80,850. Yes, for the 50 tonner. In time, probably. No, I don't know. Not on this map. No, I agree, actually. I don't think that is a. I don't think that's a go either. We should be able to grab the uh, Katrina, though, as well. Oh, we need to repair it, though, I think. So we're left with 33,000. A pretty sorry state of affairs. Really? What have we got to do today? Have we got our grass cutting to do? We will go and check. Oh, I don't think that's actually... No, it's not. It isn't grabbing that. And yet it has got a trailer hitch. But uh, obviously not the right kind. It's a pin. Well, that does look very much like a pin hitch to me, but... Let's see if that will... Or that, that also is a pin hitch. But as I said, it's weird. Things sometimes work in the way that you don't think they will. Let's open those. Ready. Yeah, I mean, tankers on this, it's... I don't know that it's going to go anyway, but it, it, we do need something like this. And a lorry, really. No, it isn't. Right, okay, let's crack on then. Did we have anything we needed to grab? No, not here now. Zoom in a little, I feel really, really small. Yeah, this is going to be fun, really, with a tanker on an English map. But it is what it is. The everyday lorry drivers have to do this thing on English roads. So, yeah, it's definitely something that uh, happens all the time. Yeah, I'm thoroughly enjoying uh, all of the Let's Plays, if I'm honest. I am. Even Neverland, even though it has got lots of weirdnesses. I do think I'm right, though. I went on, um, just, again, it's probably for a long time in the thing, but I, I was a bit listless. I'd got not the energy to go on um, one of the Let's Plays, so I thought, well, let's have a look at the... I'd, I'd really like the look of the Hills of Tuscany. So I did the uh, Rules of Engagement, just to have a, get a feel for the map. It's not I'm not posting it now, I'm just literally doing it for the future. I, I might do the odd thing every now and again on it until I'm happy. I mean, I, I don't want to be going off... Is that my, my indicators on? Yeah, they are. Yeah, I'm not not about to leave a European map or anything like that. Although Neat Scott Palm is, is a, yeah, the smallest Let's Play we have got. We're not finished yet. Definitely not. Right then, so I do believe this is for the slurry, and that isn't that why we. Uh, yeah, that's true. I don't think. Or oh, had we gone on? I don't know. We'll have to have a look. I can't remember. I think we're still second. Well, no, I think we might be there. So that was, that was March. We did all of our field work and everything. We still have some weeds, which I don't know why, <laughs> but we do. Right, slurry. Uh, yeah, I think this is the way in for us. And if I remember rightly, I think we're better to reverse in than anything. Ooh. Oh, I'd forgotten about this. 
yeah, portholes open, it does do that. It do, yeah, it drags things around, I'd forgotten. So what, as I said, it is a while since I've had this. That was one of the uh, rather strange things about this. And obviously, even months after, it still does the same thing. <laughs> is it bad enough for me to remove the mod? Not really. No, it's not. It's, it's I lived with it before. It's a cracking. It is a cracking trailer. Yes, of course it would be nice if it was fixed. But yeah, yeah. I often used to drag things on Hobo's Hollow. So that just goes to show how long ago it is. Really, I finished that a long, long time ago. Right. Let's try and get that a little bit more. Yeah, this is definitely a uh, smaller than the H2 Studio one though. Right, so then I believe we're going to be doing our. Um, now, did I shift? I think I did shift everything out of the production, if I remember rightly. Yeah, this is true. Uh, on the biogas mods, this has obviously changed by giants. It seems that the uh, outgoing products you have no choice now. Not that I ever did. I always did sell the uh, methane and always sold the energy. It looks like that's always an integral part now of all of the VGAs. Because I've seen four maps and all of them do this. I thought it was a mistake on Neverland, but I think it's a, it's a change by giants. So, right, and so that's the farm supply production. Farm supply production two, large production and production shed. Manure plus slurry. Now yeah, that's right. We just need to add the. I believe that was it. I think that was it really. Now how much slurry have we got left? Uh, oh, 58 tons. Wow. So we've got an awful lot of slurry. Now this is going to fill the uh, production shed. So we may well run some to the uh, biogas plant. Oh, and we've also someone's left something in the way. No, we don't want to be selling it there. We do need to be. Uh... Oh wow! I thought we'd already got the manure out. Oh, I think we've gone on till the next morning. If I'm honest. I do. No. No. What is oh. Okay, fantastic. We've sold it at the slurry yard, and yeah, I'm, I, I am straddling. I am straddling. Yeah, let's drop that a minute. My fault. It is totally my fault. At least we got some money for it. We were actually in a very, yeah, perhaps that uh, Freudian slip was not a bad thing, really. Yeah, it may have been a, oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this one either. No. Right, well, let's go grab a, uh, we've got plenty of tractors, let's be honest. I'm glad we've got this as well. It really is a, a, an asset to the Let's Play. Right, let's go and fill that. So grab a tractor. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to portholes, oh no we haven't, we've not got anything to drag, although I don't trust this, Yeah, I'm not sure how far it's drag factor is and there's also things that you don't always think of that you're dragging that you actually are oh, and you do need to open them now right, thank goodness we actually did have plenty of slurry in ah. right a tractor, I believe, is what we're looking for. We have a number of them. I started all of their engines. Well, I think I started all of their engines. Let's grab the Valtra. This tractor is also following me. This is on the hills of Tuscany. Yes, it is the blue one, which is the one that I remember on um, Horbelleron. I had the blue Valtra. Right, shift it out of the way. I think, yeah, we're going to need to stick some more. And we are going to need to look at the grass. Because it really, if it is done, we need to be setting that going before we do anything, really. So then, let's... Uh... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. I remember doing it. We shifted the uh, fertilizer into there, didn't we? Hours. So we weren't selling what we'd already produced. Yeah, I don't want any unfairness. All right, and we're going to do exactly the same as we did last time, which is to stick this. I, I think I found the optimal position, which was about here. 
the wheel loader to sort of be uh, yeah grabbing that so we'll I've started your engine already let's grab that unfold get you ready and let's go and grab that slurry this time without selling it although as I said yeah it was a mistake but it's not a bad one we did really yeah I'm not sure that the, I don't know that the price looked good but that's not really the point so slurry I think that's we still have six tons left as well right let's try it oh let's not try and do that let's this time please try not to touch the slurry yard well I mean we're gonna have to go over it but yeah it doesn't help that it's right next door does it really not to be able to get it <laughs> yeah, I am really shattered I was didn't even record a single session and I didn't uh, normally I've got this sixth sense about waking up about one o'clock uh, in the morning for um, posting uh, sessions I didn't wake up till about half past four why is that not have we not did we fit no because we were selling No, no slurry in there. So why is it not popping? It's not like we've not selected it. Not, and you really don't need. Getting the start filling thing. What's that about? Oh, okay. Maybe it's the triggers are too close. It does cause some sort of clashes. So yeah, it'll be that. I've got the same on Neverland where I've got a a lick. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Surely not. I wouldn't stick a hundred tons in. Well, that, I don't think that's my fault. Seriously. Oh. Do you know? Seriously, you've overfilled to that. And this is what you get when you're tired. It is. It's weird. It's almost like, as I've said this quite a few times, like the universe rebels against you. It does. It's awful. Nothing works right. Seriously. Oh well, let's try the yeah. Let's try this one. I don't know what it is. Whether this is too close to that, with the slurry yards affecting it, or what? I've no idea what is happening as to why that's not suddenly popping. Well, let's try this too and see if it is something like that, or what? Because this is getting a little bit silly now. It really is. And then we're going to go and check the. That's start overloading. So you're going to load that back into the. Still, we do want to do that. Or do we? Or should we have tried that, really?
Well, I really didn't expect this. No, I really didn't. This is a, a bit of a new one, really. Mod Clash? It's got to be something. I think what we'll do is we should pull the mantrids out of the way and we will try and see what... Oh, my life, that is slow. That's because it's overloading. It is very slow. And yet, if you did it from the overloading from the mantra, it's very quick. Yeah, if we can actually find it to do that. Let's see it. Now this you will see is very quick on overloading. Right, let's shift this completely out of the way and see if, like, we can get anything to work. Oh, shut those down. We just went out and bought a tanker to do this to make it quicker to actually have it not work. Well, if it is that, we're going to sell it and we're going to give ourselves the money back because that, yeah, wow. That is that is quite awful. Yeah, I've not tried the mantrids for a while. I think I might be ripping it out. Not because it might it, it may be a mod clash, but the bottom line is I'm not really prepared to shift any of the tankers that I've already got for this. No, we don't want to be doing it from this. We want to be doing it from this because it's much quicker. It's got it has got to really be a mod clash. It's got to be because we've just quite plainly seen that that is working. So it really is only the mantras that's not working. Yeah, that's that's fine. Well, that is a real shame. Yeah, in, in past let's plays, a long time ago, I've used the mantrid one in for uh, yeah, I really have. It's a and I, I've got to be honest. The one thing I am going to say, haven't I just bought this for? I have on Neverland, so I can't remove it, no matter what. But I will sell it on this if it's not working on this particular map, which is strange. Yeah, it is. I don't know why. Whether it's the uh, in the proximity to the TARDIS, or I'm not sure. We can try that. We could try that tomorrow morning before we sell it. I, I will give myself full value, though. That is one thing I am going to say. Because this is, the, if it is what I'm thinking it is, it's a mod clash, simple as. So, right, let's go and have a look at the grass. With one of our tractors. Now, have I got my sound seems a little bit quiet? I switch my sound down. Only marginally. Right, let's go and have a look at our fields of grass and see... I, uh, no, I didn't. I did check, though. I literally jumped into the Bureau, and it appears that our... No, 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 not that way. Yeah, our grass situation is... Sorry, straw situation is... I am right, though. They don't half use a lot of straw for three horses. It's almost like it's programmed to uh, use it all. I th I'm sure we looked, and it's... Uh, yeah, second growth stage. That is second growth stage. It is... And I think, yeah, we checked these two fields last time. So it is a matter of just going through, checking our animals, and going straight through till May morning. There's nothing to do. Did I take any contracts on? Let's just check. And McCormick needs repairing. It does. This is true. Now, did I? I did that. I know. I didn't place the lots. Like, I think that's what I was uh, on with. Because we really should be selling our um, thing, but we haven't got any means to do so. Right, so then, uh, this is the only place the lots would go. Have we got the money to place it really now? It's a little bit dangerous. Let's have a look at our animals. Females, females, males. But well, we did keep those and we did clear out, didn't we? I remember. Chicken... Females, that's right. We bought them, I remember now. 100 we have a totally full total mix ration yeah everything is happy so let's go and 
rest because we have uh, no yeah we've got plenty of manure in as well but we've got plenty of manure to grab let's have a look and let's repair this as we're passing the repair point and then tomorrow morning we're going to try the slurry yeah we've, we've filled up everything we need to right let's go rest uh, no let's not go that way Right, so let's just check this as we're running past to make sure that we have got 49 tons of slurry, 76 tons of that. We did check, I believe we checked. Right, let's have a look. We have got that on now, that is working. Herbicide, we're not selling and we're not making straw reopens. Yeah, we're not making manure from straw and slurry or anything like that. We'll try this tomorrow with the TARDIS being a way away just move these back as it will allow us to even though technically whoa that would have been them broken although let's face it you don't really normally fly when you're grabbing yeah let's move that along there and let's rest till the morning remind myself I think it was the lorry wasn't it that's what we bought yeah Beautiful Kinsey again, not right for this map. That I would have liked to buy, but again, we, more important that we bought the lorry. It really was definitely. Good morning, boy. How are you doing? Or oh, girl? It could be actually. This is true. It could well be eight o'clock. Is the right time. We've done all our animals. We've checked the grass. Tomorrow morning we'll be doing a cut. I want to see what the fertilizer business does for us because that was a lot of slurry and manure. Oh, we haven't switched the... Oh, have we? Did we switch the silage on to the BJ last session? I'm not sure we did. Oh, I would say we probably have. I would say that amount of money we must have done. Wow, 127 tonnes of manure. Wow. Why? Oh, I'm not sure it's going to work, though. I'm not. That's reading the same storage, if you remember. We did sort of check this. Let's just go through everything. That's the two. Is that the one? We've got that. It is. It's taken all of the silage. It has. I was exactly right. It's done precisely what I said, which is taking the whole lot of the silage. That million litres, and you can see that, yeah, we've now become very rich overnight. But then, uh, anybody selling that amount of silage is going to do fairly well from it, really. But, I mean, obviously, there was that as well, but I would imagine there's about 400,000 <laughs> 400 grand from that. Oh, wow, that is amazing. And typically, it's raining, right? Let's get the jobs we can get done then. Wow. Yeah, that is amazing. It really is. Oh, animals. Did we check the chickens as in for food? Yeah, 16 tons. Yeah, of course I was forgetting we over overdo on this one, don't we? Right, we also want to reverse in. Oh, the robot is there. Sorry, boy. I wouldn't really run you over in real life, but... Right, let's let that robot on its way. We will go and uh, see if we can get this to work this morning. Whether it was a mod clash, whether it was too close to the TARDIS, or what was happening, because something was not right. right. Let's see if we can get this to work. I mean, there are a lot of mods in close proximity, that's one thing I am going to say. But again, if the Mantrid one isn't going to work with our stuff, then obviously that is a big no no. Right, fantastic. Let's leave you filling. That's are you close or too close? And that is true because this is really from that story, so that does mean that actually we probably don't need to. <gasps> Why is that reading under? Uh, yeah, but I don't know that it's going to work. I think we need to speed time up to see if that is going to work. Let's just move the uh, the TARDIS out of the way a little bit further because I don't. Yeah, sometimes things go a little bit, yeah, are quite close even though they're not. I don't want to risk it. Wow, I really did not expect to be up at 700,000 the next morning. Let's have a look at the sales. Oh, is that not highly appropriate? 
were actually looking at this yesterday. Yeah, it's one thing I don't uh, just disagree with that it's called cheat. You could have a 600, and let, let's be honest, there's a lot of others. I mean, I know it's a cheat for this. I love the wheels on this. I actually like the, the basic ones. We've got one. There's just no point I'm being silly, so let's just leave it. Right, let's have a look now. Can we get the mandrins to work this morning with that out of the way? Was it that, or was it, what, you know, what was it? Oh, wow, you can't move with me all the way over there. You're a little bit particular, little robot. Seems to have a very narrow um, spot just close to the slurry yard, which is a bit scary because you don't know if you are getting the slurry yard. To me, I'm too close to the slurry yard. Let's just see. No, no, we're not. So it's got a very, very narrow thing right at the back there. Have a look. Is that what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to just see if this is re if the manure's clusters in there because it dis does actually say that it's sharing it with that if you look closely. So I'm not sure this time I'm cheating. Yes, I know technically I'm not shifting the stuff out of this, which I can't really help if the game is reading that. It does say it's con connected to the large production shed and the production shed as well. So it does this if we speed time up for one hour. Will this increase the fertilizer being made, or is it just because I know a lot of the time when the storage does do this, it doesn't actually do anything? And yes, I can see under that myself. Right, let's speed this up till nine o'clock and see if it actually does anything. Yeah, is the fertilizer going to go up? And is it, are we going to get a bit of a leap? Yeah, we are. Right, okay, well, that, that's all I want to know. No, no, it has. It has sold. Yeah, great demand at biomass heating plant. Fantastic. Let's go and grab the rest of that. So that's gonna that's gonna aid us enormously because we don't need to grab the. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna reverse as well, actually. Now that means the robot's gonna be out again, isn't it? Wow, six mile an hour reverse. Seriously? Wow, that is a bit slow. Yeah, but I am going to be realistic. I'm going to go under as much as I possibly can to be realistic. Have a look how much we've actually got. Oh, loads still. <gasps> 245 tons of milk. Uh, right. <laughs> right, okay then. I think we need to build a dairy. I think so too. I think it, today's going to be more about building things to, uh, yeah, now that we also don't want it to be too far away. Right, I think that actually was it. It's a bit scary because it's a little bit too close to the slurry yards borders, but if that is where it is. a little until we can get that to pop. Mm, 
now it's being stubborn. It seems way too close. Where is the fill point on this? I thought this one was on the back. Let's have a look. I'm sure this one was on the back. I know that the other tank I use is in the middle. It's hard to say with this one, isn't it? Where they the unload point is supposed to be. There is something down here though. Yeah look, the silver things down there, are they part of the spring assembly or is that supposed to be where it unfills? Maybe it is, maybe that's where, or is it this here, the silver bar? That might be it, that it would literally you'd get like a, a pipe from that so it probably is that does look very much like that could be it so in which case that is actually here yeah which is about where it should be so it's me getting used to the mantra again right well, yeah that's that's it right so we need another tanker as well we need a milk one so right let's get some productions put down Trying to think where. You know, the dairy is small. I've got to be honest. I don't really like doing it, but I think what we're going to do is. We, yeah, I should show you what we're going to do. This is a job for the. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is. We're making the maximum use of our farmyard. Uh, and you would, wouldn't you, to be honest? So um, it's a little dairy, We're not having the cheaty version, I might add, but yeah, we are going to uh, use the Disturb simulations. I've got to be honest, it is my absolute favourite, uh, just as the BGA is also fantastic, so is, yeah, right, let's shift that net wrap, which we haven't used since that contract. Grab that. Here we need Yeah, I think we'll be doing the grass next session if I'm honest. I think this is gonna be more about placing the productions and uh, spending this small fortune that we've just um well no we've not we we literally have now does this accept seeds? I'm not sure. Let's check before we do it. I really don't want to be sticking that in there if I'm going to make a mess. That is up here. Large production. Do you accept seeds? No, you don't. Okay, then. In that case, I think we'll be sticking this back in the production shed. Which we probably can't get to at the minute because the lorry is in the way be clever and go forwards. Yeah, do we do we have another tanker? I think so, yeah. I really do think that uh, we probably is a wise idea actually to sell that little bit though. Yeah. Can we have a we got a space for two? I don't think it, we'll go for the other one. We'll go for the one that I would normally go for. That can be tractor driven. So right let's stick that back in there. It's not like... Now the Omaton is the one that has got our seeds, but we can still stick this in here. And I haven't... No, I have not obeyed my own rules, have I? I've not stuck the grate down there. So I think we will. Although, let, let's do the building all at once. Yeah, I, that's not a bad idea. Right, we want to grab... We yeah, actually we still need to, to use this, which was what I was trying to do in the first place. Let's not leave this anywhere. Stick that there. And grab the fork. So I want to move the line because although they are really in the way there. Yes, they are a little bit in the way really, I've got to be honest.
just nudge that a bit further forward. And if we're clever, we should, if we put them in the middle, get them both. 3,309 litres. Now, I don't want to stick this with the fertiliser. I would sooner stick this just in front of here, where we're not using at the minute. I cannot get over how much milk we've got. That is tremendous. Right, so then, uh, we need to shift the net wrap. Grab the tree devourer. And we need, I think, to chop a couple of trees out, because the only place we've got, what about there? Just that one tree there at the end of the slurry yard, we don't really need to shift anything there. Not that that's the reason I'm not, yeah, it is, that I'm not being lazy. I just think it would be better. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we will see. We'll grab the tree of our anyway in case. Well, no, we need it, so we will do. Let's grab that. It is a bit of a bonus that we don't need to shove the uh, fertiliser, the manure. That is quite a bonus. Right, so then, tree devourer, you, will you do for that? And let's not clock the wheel loader. Let's fold those back. Liquid fertiliser tank. So literally just liquid fertilizer. And of course we haven't got any. <laughs> How highly appropriate. We've got a liquid fertilizer tank when we don't use this stuff. Although we could afford to now, but it's just that we've made our own fertilizer and we've got plenty of it. So you would, wouldn't you? Right, let's flip around very quickly before we hit the back of that. Let's level up a little. To be honest, I think we ought to leave this for the John Deere or the, yeah, the McCormick. And being as we haven't used the John Deere today, I think we're going to go and grab the John Deere. I thought it was over here somewhere. No, it can't be. That's there's only one tractor over there. It's got to be one of these down here somewhere. Myself any room at all to squeeze past. I do, pref do prefer this with the pipe. But, but it is an awful lot more with the pipe, yeah, for if you sort of try to do it on the uh, the cheap, it's a very, very reasonable price, the Tree Devourer. And I do like the fact that obviously you can watch it with it. That is an absolute, and it is an awful lot better than that first day that I tried to uh, show it on, I think it was the week of release, and it was awful. But uh, as you'd expect, yeah, there are usually things that are wrong with things, aren't there, let's be honest, on the day of release. That's not a shock to anybody. Let's see, can we just, ooh, I thought I'd left plenty of room, obviously not. Yeah, as I said, the universe comes up and grabs you, it does when you're tired, it's everything goes wrong, it does. Neverland was an absolute nightmare, yeah, the, that again, I literally spent half a session, right, let's... Yeah, trying to get up the hill, would you believe? That's what I spent half of the session doing. <laughs> Literally. I think that'll do, but we need to make sure that there is going to be enough room. Wow, is that oh, 1,314 litres from that fairly hefty tree? Right, okay, then now then let's see. We've got the lorts as well. I think that while we've got this, we're going to get everything done. We also need to do a little bit more work on this at that end there. Yeah, we do need to be doing some lifting. So we'll try to do a little tiny bit along the edges of this. Just 
did a bit more there. I hate being able to see like fresh air underneath these. I'd sooner have it be built up a little. Right, oh, it just too good. Yeah, it goes from one extreme to the other really quickly. And then this back end here, there was a little. Right, now then, productions. Let's have a check. We need to have a very good look at this. Because the dairy might be longer than I'm thinking. So production, not the cheaty one. We want the normal dairy. We're going to upgrade it a bit though. So that it is super duper. But I don't want to cheat by grabbing the cheaty one. Although I suppose it's like having an upgrade of three times. So I don't suppose that is truly that bad. Now then I was, yeah. I am right. We need to switch on. Oh, I've done screenshots. Why do I always do that? Interactive zone markers on for a second. Let's try that again. It definitely was small enough. That's the one thing I am going to say. Ah, uh, it, is, it is that way. Yeah, good job. That's bizarre. Ah. Where are they? Are there? That's going to look harder because you're not going to be able to see the. I suppose you could do it there. That's not really going to hurt. And you could also leave those. Yeah, because it doesn't really matter about the the milk urns. Truthfully, that's just the end for. Uh... Fantastic. Let's see. Has that done anything weird to the road or anything? Let's just get rid of that for a second. No, the road was the most important thing. Has it done... No, it's not done anything awful. We've got a little tiny bit of grass that looks a little bit weird. We'll get rid of that. Yeah, we will just put a blob of... Right, I'll tell you what we will do, though. While we are here, I think what we'll do is we'll stick a bit of a... a cyst. So we can see roughly where we're aiming for when we switch the... Yeah, that'll do. Smashing. And we're also going to stick a grate down there. And we're going to... Yeah, we are. Decoration. Others. And we're going to go for the first one. Because the one that I'd really like is an awful long way in. Actually, I don't know that it is for this. I'm thinking of the uh, milk things. Yeah, there is two or three grates. None of them are the ones that I like. But that one will have to do. And yeah, we're going to have to stick V mode on to make that actually work. And we want to get it as level as possible. Is that not far off? It's not quite right. It isn't. Not quite. Uh, do we do the same there? We could have done that, actually, thinking about it. We could stick the... Brilliance. Then we know what to aim for. And the Lords, I think we were talking about here, but the Lords is, yeah, we've got the zone markers on, so let's have a look. Yeah, the Lords is amazing. We may have to not go there where we, th where I'm thinking. I'm not sure there's room there, even though, yeah, because the thing is with this, it's got the two sides. Yeah, you've got the, it's going to spawn. Uh, I suppose, no, I don't suppose that would matter, really. We could get in to, to do the spawn inside. We could actually, yeah, that is a point. We could do it like that. I never thought of that. We could stick that in at the corner and pull it out like that. I've never really thought of doing it that way. But you can easily, yeah, the most important end is the door. Oh. What we're going to do is pull it out to the point where it lets us do it. This is obviously... Wow, that's got a very big apron. Right, okay, in that case, we'll stick V-Mode on. Uh, this is what I call my uh, generic goodbye for those sessions where I've done a recording and I didn't realise I was going to split it. And this is my... I do hate it when I don't say goodbye to you. It seems very rude when you invited guests in to come and have a look at your content and you don't say goodbye. So this is what I always add as the spliced goodbye. So... 
yeah, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I truly do hope you're going to continue with me on this journey. And I'm going to say goodbye for now.